correspondence, there was an, an asymmetry, and there was a sort of gauge there that was more fundamental. And somehow, the, you know, because we know what it is, uh, Byron taught us what it is only a couple of days a week, we could just put it on the computer and solve it in principle, and then somehow, magically, when the coupling became strong, you have to understand how this magic happens in extra dimensions and gravity and all the rest of it emerge. But I think now that we're seeing more, we're seeing more and more, that's likely not the right way of thinking about it. Because even in weak coupling, you clearly don't have the best way of thinking about the physics. What seems much more likely is that there's a third formulation of this theory. In the slides that I skipped, there's this T in the middle. And it looks like neither one. It doesn't look like gauge theory, it doesn't look like gravity, it looks like, it looks like something new. Uh, and the something new reduces in some limit to looking like gauge theory, reduces in the other limit to looking like like gravity, but it's really something something different. That's the thing which I think is getting much, much closer to the, if we can find it, that's the thing which is getting much, much closer to the heart of the first set of questions that I was, that, 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 that I was asking. Because if we find that T, that third theory, A, it's going to tell us how to understand this, 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 this magic in this uh, ADS-CFD correspondence to begin with, but B, maybe it'll tell us how to start deforming away to, to extensively talk about the deforming notion of locality and unitarity when it's appropriate. I think there's one more question there, Steve. So you motivated the, the need to get around space-time clearly enough for me. The, the lack of unitarity, yeah. it, it sounded to me like you were saying that basically because of you were relating it to the acceleration of the universe yeah. and yeah. the fact that the boundary basically is changing. And since the, the observables are well known, really only at the boundary. Yeah, so it's, it, it's, not even like, it's not even like quantum mechanics is, it, it's not even that it's wrong. <laughs> uh, so it's not, it's not as extreme as that. It's just that it's inappropriate. That it, it's, it just fails. It doesn't, uh, it, 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 it seems to be a question. It, it, it's, it's strange because, you know, there, the, what, there are these things that people normally think about as just interpretational problems with the, with the, with the quantum mechanics. And if the word gravity and cosmology does not make an appearance, there's not a damn problem with quantum mechanics. And all this interpretational stuff is airy fairy. Uh, I mean, you can do it if you want, but, uh, but there's no problem. We understand everything, everything is fine. Right. But it is, really, it is really important. I think it's really, really important that, uh, that you turn on gravity and cosmology, and those, what used to be, you would think airy fairy interpretational problems really come back to haunt you. Okay, that's where they really matter. Because then we just don't know what we're talking about. I mean, we don't know what observables are. We don't even know in principle what they are. And so that's, I think, very, very interesting. And so I think it is really important and interesting to think about the foundations of quantum mechanics and so on and so forth. But if you're going to think of those thoughts, the words gravity and quantum mechanics better come up over and over again, because that is, that's the only place where But the connection to unitarity is specifically related to Absolutely. That. Only that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Only, only that. And that, that's, that's, that's why I say it's, it's, it's never going to be you know, practically relevant for anything. The, 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 the size difficulties we're talking about are 10 to the minus 10 to the 120 level level difficulties. Okay? But again, uh, that, that's, 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 that's the nature of the beast. The, the uncertainty you principle also. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you want to the universe, then uh, I think it is, it is very interesting that, 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 that we've, had this, we have, we've had this march of fewer and fewer observables. You know? uh, and normally, people had, I mean, cosmophysicists, many of them were really bothered by the fact that they lost so many observables. It sounds like a terrible thing for physics, right? Uh, you have fewer and fewer things that you can predict exactly. It sounds, it sounds awful. Um, but it, it's always had a silver lining, and the silver lining is because there are fewer and fewer observables. That means more and more things that you thought were different were actually different aspects of the same thing. So the decrease in the number of observables is somehow tightly connected to the increase of unification. We had waves and particles before. The world isn't classical. Too bad it's not deterministic. Too bad, but actually waves and particles are the same thing as a, as a consequence. And, and so on. You know, you, you, you lose locality, you thought you had gravity and you had field theory, actually they're aspects of the same thing. There are different ways of talking about the same thing. So I think this, this cosmological question is the last step I can imagine. <laughs> you know, here, really, it's really the problem is that everything, I hate to make such a hippie statement, but everything is connected. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that's, that's really the problem, that we have no good way of separating, sharply separating uh, uh, the finite universe into bits, and that just suggests there's something very big missing in, in the way we, we have think about it. Well, that was really fabulous, and uh, I think we'll, we'll gather down here for some more discussion. So, let's please thank you for a very good excellent.